Hello everyone. Thanks for tuning in to Grumpus on Fire. I'm Grumpus. Well, during a long cook, there's always some idle time between checking the meat. So I'm going to share a little DIY project. Uh, I do this every uh, two or three months. Uh, stick around. I hope you find it interesting. Well, this couldn't be simpler. Uh, I've just got a, a tin pan sitting here on top of the uh, the firebox. I've picked up some golf wax. We're just going to put this up here and just let it melt. Already got one box in there, and we'll just let this melt down and do its thing. And then we'll be right back. All right, so we're all melted. I've got some uh, two befores that some scrap from work that we I've cut up. A little two by two. Uh, you don't want to use a, a hardwood or something real resinous like a uh, like a southern yellow pine. Uh, try to use a light, real porous wood like uh, white pine. Uh, this is some hemlock we've got. And uh, basically, we just want to set it down in this hot paraffin and let it just soak all during our cook, whether that be, you know, a couple hours, five hours, whatever. So let these soak up the paraffin. They try to float, they'll eventually sink. And if you're doing a four or five hour cook, let it go. 10, 15 hour cook. Let them run. The more paraffin you can get soaked up into this block, the easier it's going to start. I think that whole box of paraffin cost me three bucks. Three bucks and some change, I think. And uh, that's what we got going right here. We'll just let this soak up. And uh, come back in a little bit, we'll check it. We can also take a little bit of foil. It looks like they're trying to cool off on the top side. Uh, take a little foil. Keep some of that heat inside. There we go, see our paraffin is good and hot. I don't know if you can see it or not, we got a little bit of a not really a boil, it's the air escaping out of this wood. But it seems to be soaking up pretty good. I'm going to flip these over. Just because I've got nothing else to do at the moment. Probably doesn't need it. But I'm waiting on my cook to finish. So I'm just puttering. You do not want this to splash on you. It will stick. Might have one block too many. There we go. That popping sound you're hearing is the moisture being driven out of this wood. And it's been condensing on this foil and dripping down in it like, like water on hot grease. So we'll just cover this back up. Just kind of help keep the heat in. And uh, we'll just let this go to our cook's finished. Well, our wood chunks have been soaking up this hot paraffin for six hours now. Uh, as you can see, uh, they've turned pretty dark, soaked up a lot of paraffin. They're not trying to float as much as they were. So uh, let's just pull these off and finish them up. So then we'll just take this pan off the fire. Be real careful. Now this stuff is, I mean, it'll stick to you and pull the skin off. Take that off. Put the foil we had covered, and we're just gonna, we're gonna take them out, let these cool off overnight. Just be very careful you don't splash. Now, when we're done here, we'll just let this pan of paraffin cool off, it will solidify again, and we can just set it 
store it someplace and next time we need to make some of these we just remelt the same paraffin down so we'll probably get oh gosh this pan will probably last a summer and depending on how hot you run your your fire how hot your paraffin gets uh, is determine how dark this wood would get right now it looks like he just soaked these up really really nice so there we go I'm just gonna let that sit all night and uh, they're done so if you find this even remotely interested uh, do me a favor hit that like button uh, if you haven't subscribed yet why not we sure appreciate it if you wanted to do that especially appreciate you tuning in to Grumpus on Fire I'm Grumpus we'll see you next time <laughs>